Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama and this video will be about dynamic DNS and port forwarding that was set up on my apartment. So, uh, so check on your ISP and your router whether they whether they have dynamic DNS, the DNS and port forwarding available. So in my free PS video, I did about OpenVPN, Proxy, and Tor. And to utilize them, I need to put them on public or to have them accessible to public. So either you need a port forwarding or a tunneling or a public IP. If you already have a public IP, you don't need to do anything anymore. Just set your laptop your raspberry pi your computer or whatever into your public ip and have them able to connect to the public then all you need to do is assess your public ip or if you do already have a dns available just assess assess your domain name but for my case i have here i connected to my home using vpn i have a router and they give me a uh, one IP address and they say that this public address is dynamic so it can change which is why it is necessary to set up a dynamic domain name system for example noip.com there is also dndns.org but this one is not free and set the mask like this so i name my host name to this one and this is the ip address and this router will automatically uh, inform noip.com um, noip.com whether the ip is updated or not for this host name and if you haven't created one you should create a host name here and that's just input the, your desired host name and the IP address that is on your router and make sure that these are matched with the noip.com uh, yeah match not so they can be synchronized so now I'm able to tunnel to VPN for example, this is my VPN setting. Cancel. So here it is. The gateway is uh, just the domain name, which will translate into the public IP or the one IP. And also, I have a proxy set up. So if I want to go to to assess my proxy. I just need to put the the dynamic domain name, domain name, and the port. But now I don't need because I already I'm already accessing through VPN, and which is why I'm able to access my home router. And my, if I'm correct, I set this home router to be unaccessible from the outside and only from the inside. So that's the first step. The next step is uh, port forwarding. So go to advance. You can check all these routers. So for me, all I need is to go for to the forwarding. So the laptop that I place on, I name it server one. Is I gave an IP address of one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two and then you need to open to forward the ports necessary for example if i want the to if i want tor or port i need to forward 9001 to this and then if i want to open http for a web server and this one is for my proxy server 3128 and what is this one okay this one is for tor directory and 030 this one is for https 
and finally how I was able to connect to my open VPN and it I set it to listen to port 1194 and so on and if there are more ports that you need to open make sure to add them here and you can have like two laptops all you need to do is change the IP but only one port can be for I oh know I don't know about that but that's how it is and next I'll be going back to my country Indonesia and I will probably show you that they will censor most of my favorite manga site and I will show you that I will be connecting through them using VPN, proxy or Tor so see you on the next video and this you can contact me to the my social medias on the left and or if you want to donate you can donate to me through this cryptocurrency address thank you